Good morning everyone. I hope you're all okay today. Um, I've had a little break and a hiatus because I went to Greece on holiday with my mum and dad, um, which was class and I needed it and I loved it. Um, I hope you're all really, really well and you've all had such a lovely couple of weeks too. Um, yeah, I think this vlog is going to be heavily focused on interiors because I've, me and James have been ordering things like mad people, just trying to get all the house together and make it thread through and all feel like it's connected room to room, which is a really difficult thing to do when you're moving into somewhere that's a bit bigger than your last place. It just takes so long and we've been here now, this is the fifth week we've been here and it's gone so quickly. Um, but yeah, we're both a bit impatient and like, oh, it doesn't feel like this, it doesn't feel like that. And so it's now slowly all coming together and we're really, really happy with it. Um, I have worked with some brands in collaboration on some gifting as well, which has been the kindest thing ever. So I feel very lucky about that. Um, but for other bits and bobs, we have bought, well, we've bought quite a lot to be fair. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get cracking and show you everything. Good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're all all right. It's Saturday today. And as promised, it's DIY day. Um, so I've just spent the last half an hour or so trying to lay out a gallery wall on the bed that will go, that will mirror the shapes that we want and the positions that we want on the wall above the bed. So I've been looking at um, Alex Steadman, the Frugality. She's got how we create a gallery wall guide, how to on her blog, and it has been amazing and so helpful in terms of shapes and things that look great together um, and just basically that I mirror her advice in that you don't have to buy everything at once and spend loads and loads of money you can collect postcards or posters from art galleries which are like five ten quid things that you've picked up along the way as souvenirs or you can spend a bit of money on um, a print or a piece of art it's like completely up to you mine's very much a mix um, so I have bought art especially for this but it's more print than anything. Um, I haven't spent loads and loads of money um, and I've done it, you know, I've done it reasonably cheaply because it's expensive and like if you want to create a big old wall that's mixed and matched then it's going to cost you a lot of money if you don't do it on the cheap. So um, I thought I would just show you what I've got so far and then I'll put links to the pieces that I've got. Some of them are really old, like I've got a piece here from Ikea that was, that must be now about, God. I'd say 12 years old, but I absolutely love it. It's the best, my favorite thing I've ever got from Ikea. So I'll show you now. Right, so I'm gonna stand up here. So this is what it's, I'm hoping that it's gonna look like. So it's all very neutral with like some color in it just because I don't want it to be completely boring. This was um, given to me as a gift um, in collaboration with a beachwear brand that is Italy, Amalfi Coast. And me and James actually sunbathed on this bit here at the bottom and it was given to me as a gift and it's an, um, a photograph taken by Claire Minnery, um who's amazing and it's framed and it's beautiful and it just reminds us of just the most wonderful wonderful Amalfi, Amalfi Coast road trip um, so yeah we've got that one here this was given to me as a gift by Lizzie and um, for my 30th birthday she got me a collection of a few different ones with lovely film photos in, of a trip um, to LA that we took and also some with me and James in, just really sentimental which I absolutely love. So I thought that goes really well in the middle. This one I got from a shop on Etsy which was quite inexpensive, I think it was maybe, oh god, like £25 and then I just bought the frame. Um, this one is from Workshop Living. That one is from a vintage emporium, my local um, town, and it's a pencil drawing of loads of naked women, to be fair. So I think that one at the end is maybe pleasure in herself, so, you know, make of that what you will. I've just really seen that now. <laughs> um, then is me and James in the middle on my 30th birthday. This one is from Kit Agar, um, who is an amazing, amazing artist, and I loved the colours and the tones in this. And I didn't want it all to be black and white, I wanted it to feel quite warm. So I love this, and I bought a frame that was light wood to go with that. And this is my beloved 12-year-old um, IKEA one. The frame's a little bit crap now, like I think some water got onto it, because it's got a watermark inside there as well. I will get round to changing this frame, but I just, I'm obsessed with it. I'm really, 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 have a whole place in my heart for that. So, this is what it's gonna look like, hopefully on the wall. So when James gets back, we'll probably end up having a row over it. 
Um, but yes, I'll link everything that I've got um, that you can still get and give you some ideas as to where you can find art that's really reasonably priced as well. Uh, that's my little gold uh, bedside shelf that we're going to put up on there. That's again really old, but they do have one on Truva um, for, from a Scandinavian store that they look after on there. And I will link that for you so you can track one similar down. Um, yeah, and then I'll report back in a bit when we get a little bit more going with it. Whilst I'm here, I just really wanted to show you this bench that I've been sent. Very, very, very kind gift by a Scandinavian brand called By Korea. Um, and oh my god, I'm just obsessed with it. I really wanted to wait to show you this whole room until it was done with the rug because we've got like a big cream rug coming here and obviously the bed and the art gallery at the back. But best laid plans mean that you just can't rush everything. And you know, we've been here five weeks now and it's just taken longer than we expected, as frustrating as it is. Rome wasn't built in a day. So anyway, this, I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. This is um, tan leather. And then we've got, we went for a black chrome frame. So I just think it's gonna look so good once I've got everything in because it's gonna be like all neutral and beautiful with like pops of warmth and color. Um, yes, so I'm really, really excited about that. They're all handmade as well and very reasonably priced and just the quality of it is just amazing. Um, she also makes incredible bar stools, um, chairs, just so good oh, oh and some amazing bedside tables but i haven't got that much room either side so that's why i've got to have a shelf instead but i'll put the link on for her because you need to have a look at it because it's amazing you can also customize the leather the, the um and the metal and the chrome colors and everything to go with it James has finished putting up the gallery wall now. Um, we've got quite a few up. Maybe we'll get some more as we go forward. We've got to make the bed and everything yet, but I'm really happy with how it looks. It looks so good. I think we're just gonna maybe move those two apart a little bit. But yeah, happy. Here is the lovely James doing the DIY of the day. We've got these um, the amazing, cooking. and the cooking, and the barbecuing, um, amazing curtains sent from Habitat um, as a gift. And they're like really creamy neutral linen and I absolutely love them. We've got blinds underneath so the um, light won't come in as much. But yeah, so impressed with them. Hello you lot. So the gallery wall's done now, thank God. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, I can't wait to get into bed tonight and it feels like a little bit more together just want my rug to come and then it'll really feel together. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the front room now. Again, everywhere's got a little bit to go, but I just want to show you it as it gets done as well because it's really important to let you know that Rome wasn't built in a day, like I said before, and that no one really has the money to do it all at once. And as much as I do what I do for a living and I get lots of lovely gifts as well, you know, we, we've got our own money, we buy everything ourselves as well and we've spent a lot of money getting it the way that we want to get it. Um, and like I say, no one's got this random bag of disposable money when it comes to doing a house up. So that's really important for me to let you know because it's like, oh, I just want it all to be done, but 
the cash isn't there, mate. <laughs> so I'll show you a couple of bits that we've got in the front room. Some are old, some are new, some are gifts. A lot of it we've bought. So where should we start? Okay, I'm going to start at the lights because I was really kindly sent these by Soho Home and I'm a massive, massive fan of Soho Home. I've bought loads myself, but they've been kind enough to send me um, this light um, fitting as, as like my moving in kind of thing. And I honestly, oh, it's my favourite thing. I just love it so much. So these are cream linen um, and then it's a black little band around it and then it's all like kind of like beige, um, beige, copper. Oh God, and it's so good. I just love the way it looks in this room. Really, really like it. So that's that one. Then what shall I show you next? Sofa we got from eBay and it's absolutely massive and it's cream and linen. It's so good to find stuff like this on eBay, honestly. And it was used and we are gonna get it um, reupholstered, but for now it's absolutely fine. It was completely clean, not smelly or anything like that. And the seller was absolutely lovely. Um, and it was an absolute steal considering I think it's a really expensive sofa. So it's always worth looking um, around for things like that. Um, my cushions are all actually Lara Du. Oh no, that's a lie. French Connection. Lara Du, French Connection. French Connection ones were gifted to me maybe 18 months ago, but they still have similar ones. And then I just bought um, some Lara Du ones like this to kind of like go in with it all. Um, then I worked with Houseology on a project recently and we got to choose something um, as a gift, as a thank you for helping raise some awareness about their new um, Snap It and See tool, basically, where you can take a picture of anything um, interior-wise and they find you the item. Or the, or the similar and it's just like an automatic generator online or in the app and it's class. So um, it's like a buttery tan leather footstool which we both love because we're both really tall so our feet actually, and legs actually fit on it. Um, the rug is from Habitat and it's beautiful and James keeps standing out and going oh god isn't this beautiful because your feet just get buried in it and I love it. Um, then I keep saying erm um, a lot don't I? I feel like also I'm out of breath talking so fast. These two little babies were from a vintage store. So just keep your eyes open. Go to charity shops, go to vintage shops, all that kind of thing. And just, you know, really, really get involved. Be committed to the cause. <laughs> You've all seen my other pride and joy, which is the lamp that I bought from Soho Home, which I'll never stop loving. Oh God, there she is in all her glory. Now, some of you might be wondering what this monstrosity is next to it. <laughs> so bear with me here. So this is an original cane sofa. Um, I don't know if you can see here. So the colors of it all and like, it's like in such good nick. And I'm, I literally, I absolutely love it. So I bought this sofa and to match, God, there's cables everywhere. We need to sort all of that out. We've had problems with BT since we moved in. Um, and a matching chair, like a, a, a bucket chair and an, also a footstool which we don't need around here because we've got this big one so I'll be moving that into the kitchen. So the plan with this has already been executed I'm now, I've, I'm about two weeks away from receiving my cushion covers so I've had it all reupholstered, I've had a team out to come and um, sort that out for me which we've paid for. Um, expensive by the way reupholstering, bloody hell. So the whole set cost me £150 from British Heart Foundation charity shop, a furniture shop. Um, and we've gone for cream linen, shock horror. So all of these zip off and all the cushions and everything are in really good condition. So we can just zip these off and put the new cushion covers on when they arrive. So it's all going to be really, it's like a really buttery warm actually it's not dissimilar to the color of this shade um so yeah i can't wait for them to come it's just like i say bit by bit it's all coming together my table's lara duke from maybe a, um, two years ago um, and then i've just got a collection of magazines and things that i always um collect and hoard because I, I just like the way they look on the glass my candle graveyard is still going strong even though Lizzie and um, James's sister-in-law Kimmy made me throw so many of the dud candles out even though I loved the pots when we moved in. It was a really sad day. <laughs>
Look at her. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Oh, I'm so happy. The fabric is not the most expensive one, which I obviously loved straight away, but it's still got this really nice grain through it. And it's got Scotch guard on too, because we've got lots of little nieces and nephews and mucky hands. So that is the sofa all done. I've sat on it a few times. I keep making a beeline for it every night. And James is like, why aren't you sitting over here? <laughs> um, and then over here, we've got the chair. And I'm so pleased with this as well. It just looks so gorgeous. And I think it looks really chic and really cool. And it's just completely brought the living room together. Um, and I'm so, so happy. So happy with it. Um, so yeah, um, I use a service called Plums and I'll put the link on for you in case you're interested in any quotes. They come out um, for free consultations and stuff. And like I say, we paid for ours. Um, but yeah, they seem to have good deals on and things all the time. Hello everybody. So I thought I'd just come on and show you a couple of pieces that have really kindly been sent. Um, I'm working with Habitat on a couple of bits and they sent me this amazing print that I've chosen. I'm obsessed with it. I love that it's really neutral but also that it's got some blue in it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, and so I think that one will just live there. Just I really like the way that it leans on there. Um, Habitat also sent me this sideboard which is so beautiful and like really heavy and just great quality and loads of storage space in there. Um, again we're waiting for like a big beautiful cream rug to, to kind of separate the dining room to, from the um, little seating area that we've got at the back of the kitchen dining area just to tie it all in together so it, it feels really um, warm and neutral and not so kind of cold and minimal. Um, this little guy I brought back from Greece because we went to a ceramic factory um, and I got three so I got this one and mum and dad brought two others back but for me which were kind of this size um, and they were all 18 euros for all three so it's just mental. Uh, this one which I'm obsessed with is was a very kind gift from Zara Home and their new collection is beautiful and very much my vibe so this one's kind of like smooth at the bottom and then textured at the top. Hello again. Okay, so whilst I'm on, I just wanted to show you um, one of many parts of my pride and joy that have come from Habitat. Uh, so as I told you earlier in the vlog, I am working with them on a, a bit of a gifting basis and they've been so kind and we feel very, very lucky indeed to have been able to choose a few key pieces that we know we're gonna love and use and wear for a long time. Wear, I'm not gonna be wearing a side table, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so we chose this amazing um, dinner plate set because we've got, because we amalgamated all of our kitchenware, we've got a bit of a mixed match of stuff and I just feel like it's really one of the most adult things you can do is to get your crockery in order. So I'll show you what we've got. I'm just, honestly, I absolutely love this set so much and we've been using it every single day. Here it is in all its glory. I absolutely love it. It's just, oh my God. And it, there's just like lots of different grains and none of, no two are the same. They're all a bit off, off shape. Um, we've got the bowls, side plates, main dinner plates, and also um, a little serving salad bowl. And I just am absolutely obsessed with them. So I will put the link on for you. I can't remember what they're called actually, but I'll put the link on for you so you know all the details. Um, and yes, so just another little string to our kitchen bow. Hello, you lot. Um, I just wanted to come on and say hello properly again, and also um, to thank you for coming on this little interior journey with me. Um, basically, I just didn't want this vlog to feel like, oh my God, there's an absolutely massive spider, like massive. Right, that shouldn't be in the UK, should it? Should it? Look at that. Oh. Oh, flipping heck. Right, well, I've done away with it. I've not killed it, I've put it outside. Do you think it'll come back in? Oh, um, where was I? I was saying that, yes, thank you for coming on my journey with me. And I just, I didn't want it to feel like, I've got this and I've got this and I've bought this and I've been sent this. And it's, it's a difficult balance to achieve because I really want to show what I'm doing because I've not got the biggest budget in the world and whilst I have been given some really kind gifts, James and I have saved up money to try and like do the reupholstering of the sofa, to, to buy new artwork, to get new bedding, all of those things um, because 
you know, as amazing as it might seem for me to do this job, if we're offered gifts all the time, like that's, it's not real life and that's not what I'm about and it's not what I want to um, portray on here either. So we have spent a lot of our own money and we've saved up and we've done it properly. Um, and especially because we wanted to invest in things that we're going to love and love and love and be able to use for years to come. So I hope that that's come across and it's not like, you know, I've got this and I've got that because that's not abs absolutely not what I've wanted to, um, to, to get across to you. Honestly, it could go on forever this vlog if we're, if we're not careful. So there are there are a couple of things that I want to show you that have been sent to me that I was that I would have chosen anyway, as with everything, uh, that I'm really excited about. Um, one story is called Truva, which is literally like this treasure trove um, and curation of the best stores across the world, all in one place. And it is absolutely amazing. And I worked with them years ago. Um, and then we're back in touch now, so we're going to do something again. So I'm going to show you what I've chosen. It's just a few little trinkety bits, but honestly, just so well curated. Um, and then the next thing is actually this desk, which is sat behind me, which is from Habitat, part of the thing that I was telling you about that we're working on together. Um, and I'm, I'll show you properly now because I'm obsessed with it. It's massive and I love it. Um, yeah, and then just some bits and bobs, like I say, that we bought that are coming. And so then I think... There's going to be a few more things and then I'll finish it. And if anything drastic changes, you'll be the first to know. And I'll add in to another vlog or something. But yeah, um, so I just wanted to come on and, and just make sure that everyone's feeling okay. <laughs> like therapy. <laughs> so in here is my desk. Oh, it's put that down. And this is my office. And so I've only just started working in here because it's been a bit of a mess and I've just now got everything together. I've still got like, you can't see, but behind me is a bit of a crap hole um, and I need to figure out what's going on with it. But the way it's shaping up, I'm so, so pleased. Um, this chair came from a vintage emporium and it was, honestly, I got three of them for 50 pounds and I'm so pleased with it. Um, the desk was kindly given to me by Habitat and I am so pleased I went with such a big one because it means I've got loads of space. I literally just sit here and spread out all across and I love the fact that it's glass. It doesn't feel too dark in here because obviously all the reflection and everything it lets lots of light in. So I'm so pleased with it. Um, but I'll put the links on for the Habitat desk for you so you can see that. I've just brought some of my art artwork into here as well and I'm just going to make a big old picture wall I think up there and just have it as a bit of an inspirational place for me to sit and work but I really love the light in this room so I think I'm going to really enjoy being in here for work. Hello everyone, um, it's Monday today, um, James and I went to a day festival yesterday in London uh, for the Sunday to Citadel with our friends and so I'm feeling quite peaky today and I mean by quite a lot, it's about one o'clock I just feel so sick but I don't know about you I get really when I'm hungover I, I can't be defeated by it like I, I get more productive than usual because I can't bear to waste a day just because I've had a skin full the day before so excitingly all my rugs have arrived today so uh, they were all on the side of the house and um, so I'm going to show you the first one that I'll put out which is from Zara Home which is absolutely gorgeous and their lookbook and the way they've styled everything online is amazing so I'll get it out now and Put it here, this one's for the kitchen, so I'll show you how that looks. Okay, I seem to have put it up, put it down upside down, but we're gonna blame the hangover and wait till James comes back downstairs before we turn it, but I'm, oh, I really love it. Oh, it's just like, the texture of it all is beautiful and it will really tie this room together once I've got it in the right place. I'm going to move it further back under there as well. Oh, I'm so happy with how this is all looking. Yes! So this is kitchen rug. Okay, the next one that we've got, I, we bought this one from Dunham Mill because my friend Erica um, recommended. They've got some amazing, what are they called? Berber, Berber style rugs in. So we've got this one for our bedroom. So I'll show you this one now. Okay, so this is our Dunelm one. This was £76. 
and it's really beautiful quality it's really thick and shaggy it's got quite a, a good pile on it it's really really cozy and oh it's like yeah absolutely love this 75 pounds and it's a decent size i thought i didn't want one that was too big for the bedroom so it's all looking so good in here i'm really 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 happy i'll put the link on for this for you as well because it's such a good find Hello you lot, um, I hope you're all really well today. Um, I'm popping back on because I've had that amazing delivery that I've been going on about from Truva. So Truva is honestly one of the best online stores ever. It's kind of like, well it's a curation of some of the best independent boutiques across the world. And it's been an amazing thing to see them go from strength to strength because I worked with them first, I think it must be about four years ago three or four years ago um, and then so when we've been back in touch about my new house and stuff I'm so excited to see how far they've come and it's just been so nice to see them on their journey um, and obviously they've grown so much they have so many more stores and it's just an amazing amazing place so I was very very kindly asked if I wanted to choose a couple of pieces on a gifting basis for the new house um, and it took me ages to whittle it down because I was like I could have spent so much money i spent so much time on there and it's honestly like it's always been up there on my radar but i can't believe how how amazing the curation is like it is a real talent <laughs> like seriously so i'll put a link on for you so you can have a look yourselves but i just wanted to talk through the things that i did choose because i'm so 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 pleased with them so the first thing actually i didn't realize they were all from the same store until i got into it because obviously i was completely obsessed with this store. So one of the stores they've got online is called Also Home. And I think that's based in, where is it? Oh, I'm not sure where that's based. I'll find out and come back to you. Um, but they have the most incredible textiles and I just fell into like cushion heaven. And I'm all about cushions at the moment. I'm just trying to make everywhere feel really warm and together and that kind of thing. Cause it, it, with it being quite minimal in here, it can, runs the risk of feeling quite cold and empty and James is always like what about some colour and what about some fluff or something and I'm like right fine we've got some cushions <laughs> so the first one is this amazing like long oblongy one so this is like a velvety cream colour and then on the back is linen and so I'm like oh yeah that is so up my street absolutely love that and the quality is gorgeous as well and it's dead soft um, and then sticking in with the the old neutral theme this beautiful kind of like stripy woolen knit i don't know if you can see the details on it there but it's quite a big one and that's again really comfy and really beautifully made i think these are going to go so nicely together i'll show you how i style them as well afterwards because i know exactly where they're going to live um, and then the third one is a similar similar tone to the oblong one here and um, but it's another big square one and it's just piped with linen. Oh my God, it's just the dream cushion, really. As far as dream cushions go, I've got one. So those are the three cushions that I've got. Um, so I think they're gonna live in the bedroom on the bed. So I'm gonna put them in and show you how they look in a little while. Um, next up, I ordered a vase, which is like the most beautiful glassware ever. Um, and by the way, all of this packaging, it all came in such beautiful, like, beautiful wrap and just really nice and it's all recycled paper so we're on to a winner open this up don't need these oh look at that it's absolutely gorgeous oh my god it's beautiful i'm really 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 happy with that so that is gonna live, I think that'll live down here on my little collection of like on the sideboard with all my um, cream ceramics and things like that. That is so gorgeous. I'm so, so impressed with that. This one's from um, a store called The Hambledon, which is in Winchester. So that one's not too far away. Gorge, 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 gorge. Put that out of the way before somebody hits it. Um, and then the final thing that I ordered, again, look at this lovely wrap. Um, the final thing that I ordered was a print. So I've been after this print for ages and I just, I'm just i just in love with it. And this has come from Denmark. So everything else actually was UK based, but then the print is from Denmark and the store is called Dim Studio. So you can have a look at it online on Truva. So I will sh I'll show you this print now, but I've also ordered, you can get um, frames on Truva as well, but I've ordered some, I was having some custom made anyway, so I just bumped another one on the order. Um, I think I talked to you about this, they're from Easy Frame. So they 
custom make whatever size you want. It's so easy. You just literally put the dimensions in it and it comes and it's perfect. Or you can buy um, frames that are already kind of like pre-made and pre-sized, like the, the general generic standard ones. So I'm going to put this up. I've ordered it already, so it's in time. So it should be here sometime this week. So as soon as it arrives, I'm going to hang this up right behind me here. So it's going to live in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I think I ordered, I ordered a black frame. Because I think it's got some black in the print. So excited. It's quite a big one as well. Ooh. Oh, yes. <gasps> Look at it. So it's, it is a big one, but I'm so happy that it's so big because all my art's quite medium sized. So it's French. I can't read what that says. You can all read it for me. Anyway, yeah, it's quite big. And then the bottom, it's just got a little bit of writing there too. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I love the colour too. And like I say, because it's all so neutral in here, it's been um, really nice to be able to integrate some like other warmer colours. I'm going to put this down for a wreck it. Um, um, other warmer colours in as well so it's not just all like cream and beige and whatever else so yeah it's nice so that's going to live here right behind all the neutrally bits and so I'm absolutely buzzing about it all so once the frame comes and I can put that in I will show you how that's going to look and then let's go and put let's put the cushions out let's put my bars out so I've put the vase out on my sideboard along with all my other bits of ceramics and things. I just absolutely love it. It's such a good shape and because it's handmade it's not perfect either so I like that it's all a bit rickety and it's like off centre at the bottom there. I think it's absolutely class. So that's so good. Really, really happy with that. Right, so we're in the bedroom now. I've just put the cushions out on the bed and I love how they look. All super, super neutral. But nothing new's there. <laughs> no new news there. <laughs> yep, I'm so happy with how the bedroom's coming along now. And this bench, which I'm still obsessed with. It just all looks so, so much better together. And I also just recently bought... Um, Lara Duke have started doing lighting. And so they've got lamps and shades. And so I got this linen one. It's like a two-tier. It's like really creased and ruggedy. And it was honestly, it was so cheap as well. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the way that that looks as well. So my cushions, my Bicrea bench, so, oh God, love it so much. Love it. I've just got this fan because it's so hot. And then James is going to put this little shelf up for me as well um, that came from the last flat. And then we are pretty much sorted in here. Hello everybody, I hope you're all okay um, and that you've had a really nice week, weekend, whatever it is, by the time the slipping vlog goes out. <laughs> Um, so I've been in Copenhagen for work and whilst I was away my frames from Easy Frame arrived uh, that I told you about last time I, I was on here um, that are going to frame that amazing print that I've got from Truva. So it's going to go here up on the wall with my sofa area in the kitchen. So I'll take the frame out show you the frame and then I'll frame the print and hang it up so you can see it. Um, so. This is the frame, so it's just a thin black wooden frame, it's quite a big one because the print's 70 by 100, so it's quite a big one, um, but yes, oh I'm very excited to get this up quick. Oh, I also ordered um, a custom made tiny one as well, which is really small, because I've got this amazing postcard that came from a brand actually, um, and it's got these gorgeous watercolours on it, so I thought that would go really well in our bedroom on the gallery wall. Okay, so it's in, but um, James has left his tools at work, so we need a screwdriver to um, put in, you know, the little like loops that can sit there so the string can go across the back. Um, but here it is. Oh, so happy with it. Look at it. Oh, it's so good. I'm really, really pleased with it. I love it so much. I can't wait for it to go. Oh, it's more wet. Uh, I can't wait for it to go here. Yeah. So it's going to go there behind the sofa. Um, yes, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you as well is that um, the, they're acrylic fronted, they're not glass, um, but I don't, obviously you can pay so much money for framing and have glass and like, I paid a lot of money for the one that I've got that I got from Copenhagen that I showed you, um, it's like 100 quid to frame it um, and it's so expensive and it, but it looks beautiful and you know with some things it is worth it as well, like if you've got a bit of extra money and you 
I don't know, but this, the quality of Easy Frame is great. They do it in custom sizes, it's acrylic, it travels well, and I, st I love how all of my art looks in it as well. So I think there's something to be said for not spending an arm and leg on framing. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, this is the other little one that I've just framed. Um, so it's so small, um, but I absolutely love this print. And it's just like a watercolour. Um, oh, it's got some grubbiness on it too. Um, yeah, just like a watercolour. I really love the colours and it kind of goes with everything in the house. So like I say, it might go in our gallery wall, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Hello everybody. Um, I hope you're all so, so well today. Um, so finally, James came home with the screwdriver that we needed for the print, the little um, fastener to go in the back of the print on the frame. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> I was like, um, so I hung it up last night and I'm so, so happy with it. So I'll show you now. Ta-da! So pleased with it. So this is how it looks now in the kitchen area. Oh, I love it so much. So the print is from Truva. So I've put a link on for you and the frame is from easy frame oh, i love it so much so cool it just adds a bit of color to this otherwise quite minimal looking area um, and whilst i'm here i also wanted to show you this little coffee side table that i bought from lara Du, and i absolutely love it i think it was like i don't know maybe 120 quid 130 quid but yeah really big fan of it love it so much Hello everyone. Um, so I just wanted to pop on and say thank you so so much for watching and for bearing with me over the last two months so that I could get this massive interiors vlog out to you. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I have absolutely loved filming it even though it's been stop 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 start because like I said all the way through Rome was not built in a day um, and not everybody's budgets can allow to get everything at once and what's the fun in that anyway because then it's not a project is it and you can't get your teeth stuck into it so if you're in a similar position to me and you're feeling like a little bit deflated because you can't get everything at once just know that everybody else is in the same boat and i don't know anybody that's been able to do it like that uh, so yeah so for now we're all done with interiors uh, i'm feeling really happy and it feels really warm and it's all come together really nicely and honestly couldn't be happier in my new home um but yes i just wanted to thank you so much for being here for being very very patient uh, and like i say i hope you really enjoyed it and do leave me some comments um if you've got any ideas or tips and tricks and share share your stories with me as well because i'd love to know um but yes have an amazing week and thank you so much bye